disrespect Vibes Cartel. I wonder if Corey Todd and Vibes Cartel in bad dealings again. I wonder if I wonder, me now wonder nothing. Alright, welcome to SoFlo TV again everybody. It's your host with the most. This man Corey Todd must have licked him head or something. Alright, so Vibes Cartel had put out a Instagram message, right? And the Instagram message he put out and this was in 2017. Cartel put out an Instagram message. The Instagram message said but hold on, but hold on no. No artist out there now fire like Massacre. My money depend on Massacre for 2017. It might be a worthy component by 2020. World War III. Alright. Hashtag Gaza Nation. And then YouTube connect and everything. Alright. So, at that point now, it was 2017. Vibes Cartel said, no artist now fire like Massacre. There we were. Here we are now in 2019, almost finishing 2019, heading into 2020. Out of nowhere comes Corey Todd. For those of you who don't know who Corey Todd is, people, Corey Todd is one Yankee youth that married a Jamaican, came down to Jamaica, emerged and submerged himself into our dancehall culture and on the business side of things, right? And he was a partner of Vibes Cartel in business and they were quite successful a lot of things happened to Corey Todd and his wife in Jamaica the last thing happened was extremely tragic and could have been even way worse I know now that she never lost her life but they had to run for their lives you know one of those crazy stories where you're driving down the street the same thing happened to the lawyer girl in a um Mobile there, or Ocho Rios there rather you're driving down the street, man pull up, bye 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 bye, full up the car of bullets. That happened to Corey Todd's wife. A lot of people were saying a Corey Todd do it for insurance money. And a lot of people were saying, boy, I'm in a no enough. Um, that you, that enough people want to call him still out of Jamaica. So after that happened and them disappear, here comes Corey years later with this. And he says, this is Corey C. Todd. On Instagram and he said hope them free up hope them free him up he's speaking of vibes cartel so he's saying I hope them free him up so at music massacre our massacre music can take the crown this the lyrical war people need everything else a joke I don't care what people say my contribution towards the current king is undeniable. No matter how many people want to act like I didn't change dance hall or help him to a next level. But guess what? I told all of Jamaica a new king would rise. So please free him and get your popcorn ready because I hope him ready and we not wait for 2020. I see him when I'm talk. We not. <laughs> Winford. Let me tell you now, Winford. Same way I'm talking. Anyway, but guess what? I told all of you, I told all of Jamaica a new king would rise. So please, free him and get your popcorn ready. Because I hope him ready and we not wait for 2020. We not wait for 2020. If them free him to tomorrow, which is tomorrow, we bring the war to him doorstep. I him call for it. FYI, or for your information, 
We never begged or asked him for a song or paid him. And all idiots out there who think infrared bus massacre, you are sadly mistaken. This tweet he sent was way before the song Massacre Wave was there real and undeniable. So who was the, we, the real wave rider? Don't get this wrong. I respect his artistry to the highest level and knows he's the baddest to ever do it. But just like I knew he, who he was when I heard him the same feeling I had when I heard Massacre music, at Massacre music, him tag Massacre in this. On the whole, let me go through the Jibba Jabba reading, man. Cho. And that's why I know he can take it. And trust me, I was done with music because 90% of the artists are ungrateful as F U K K P K. But I knew with my help he could take the crown from him and put hardcore dancehall where it belongs internationally. Me done talk if anybody want to discredit what the Todds have done in dancehall and entertainment. It no matter, we laughing to the bank. Nuff of Uno, I live in, in we style or we influence. You remember that. We take we bumps and bruises, but <laughs> at the end of the day, we stand strong. Oh, by the way, you can tag him. A genocide stands alone. World War Three. Let me get to the point for you. Let me break down this whole jibba jabba for you. Hope them free up Vibes Cartel so Massacre can take the crown from Vibes Cartel on stage, person to person, lyrical confrontation. Phone and call I don't know. In, and this is no disrespect to massacre, right? But you would need a whole what lyrical war with who? Vibes cartel? Massacre you talk about? Listen, this is like a first year university student trying to debate a 20 year veteran professor. At a university, and he is the head of the debate department. It's not gonna happen. Where? Him like Corey Lickim head when them did a run out of Jamaica, a run go ahead wherever they went before they came back. And I think he wants people to know now that he's back, and the only way to do that is to stir up some controversy. I think also that the fire where Massacre did have looked like it a simmer. And he must say, all right, a time to take it to the next level now. So, what better way than to shoot for the one that is sitting on the throne? I'm going to be careful. The crown the heavy. The hill the steep to reach that throne there. Part the way I talk about. You change dance all. Don't care what people say by contributions towards the current king is undeniable and no matter how many people want to act like I didn't change dance hall. Change dance hall. What? Cortad is a Yankee youth, right? Came to Jamaica and Jamaica embraced him. Most of the time in Jamaica, what happens is when you come into Jamaica with money already, people are going to embrace you. Whether it's a real embrace or a false embrace, everybody will look at thing. You came to Jamaica with two long pockets, full of money, they embraced you. Immediately you got a whole lot of, yes my boss, yes my general. That is how the place work. If you really want, no core. Alright? Now, you did not take a pen and write no lyrics for nobody. You never tell the man what you write about. You never help him harmonize a tune over a rhythm. You did not dictate how he dressed. So what exactly, how you change dance hall? Listen me now man, listen, 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 listen. Moving right along, stop your foolishness boy, you change dance hall. I told all of Jamaica, a new king would rise. So please free him. He's talking about free up vibes cartel. 
and get your popcorn ready to the people because it's gonna be a showdown. If him, if them Lego cartel tomorrow, he's saying them not waiting till 2020, 2020, just around the corner, you know. So he must say if cartel free today, must can drop a diss track today, bring the war to him doorstep today. I find it disrespectful. Cartel didn't call for it. What Vibes Cartel said was giving Massacre a strength. He was worthy of the king's attention. You understand? It's not everybody will fling stone after your throne. You come down after your throne and go fight. And a real king knows that. That's why you have soldiers. So one time a man fling a stone and the stone never reached too far. You just send out two mad foot, hot foot. You know, your cartel talk about the two hot foot them. Send out two hot foot, mad foot, and them handle that. So, when cartel said this about Massacre, that he would be a worthy contender by 2020, he was just giving Massacre strength, my youth. Made us, Gaza Nation, start look for Massacre more pre him as, well... It looked like the king of cosign, so if the king of cosign, then Gaza nation have a ride with you. So them start say Gaza genocide. You bridge the energy. You see it? And that go on this up. So stop act like you're an idiot. But remember the song that Vibes Cartel did with Massacre. Now I've said this many times, I'm gonna say it again. The only man with boss people in a dance hall, out a dance hall, in a yo, the man that boss people from behind bars. And all he has to do is co-sign you by saying something about you and then put a one verse in a one song and you're gone a road. Period. Enough people know this, right? So, it was that energy that Massacre needed for everybody to start paying attention to him. Because rightfully so, him did out there doing thing. And he was gaining some traction, but the traction wasn't like real, like how the next level traction there was. When he got that cosign from Vibes Cartel in infrared, my dogs them off live. Oh, my dogs them off live. When him get the cosign there is when people really start say Gaza genocide, genocide Gaza. That's a, that's something there. And that's how it start because I remember doing a review, right? And when we do the review, people are say, "Yo, so flow, me not think say you're loyal, dog. Me not think you're loyal to the to the Gaza nation." I mean, I said, what? What the hell did I have to do with Massacre? Something with him song. And then I said, you know, to say a vibe cartel in that song with Massacre. I'm a co-sign Massacre. I'm a put him out there. That means, say, a Gaza genocide. And if I know Gaza genocide or nothing. Oh. I want him. Uh, because the people them stop, say, Gaza genocide. And start, start say, uh, Gaza 6. Oh, so no feel so the energy that God left for no a genocide. So no, it's war. Oh, what on there? That interesting. Anyway, don't get me wrong. I respect his artistry. He might talk again. Don't get me wrong. I respect his artistry to the highest level. And I know he's the baddest to ever do it. But just like I knew who he was when I heard him. The same feeling I have when I heard at Massacre Music. So that's why I know he can take it to take it. And trust me, my talk about the crown, you know. That's why he knows that Massacre can take the crown. And trust me, I was done with music because 90% of the artists are ungrateful as F U League Lee. But I knew with my help he could take the crown from him and put hardcore dancehall where it belongs internationally. I'm not gonna say is cartel music there's some place where massacre still no can go and no go and hasn't been before. Alright, see there. Me don't talk. The man said if anybody wants to discredit what the Todds have done in dance hall and entertainment, I'm glad he must say the Todds. Meaning now him and his wife are unified, right? The Todds, his family. All of us that carry the last name, the Todds. Him team, him, him bloodline, him and him wife. What they have done in dance hall. And like I said before. They came at the Todds, and the Todds had to run and hide. 
all right? And any sensible person would have run and hide after that. But I think that Corey, and it was an unfortunate incident. I mean, I'm big up none of that, and I'm not endorsing any of that. The part there, Jamaica needs to cut out and be gone with. Let that be known that I said that, all right? In any event, I think that Corey resurfaced now, and he wants us to know that he's here now. Other than that, he said, we take with bumps and bruises, but at the end of the day, we stand strong. We stand strong. How said that? Stand up like a man. We stand strong. Sound like a vibes cartel, we stand strong to me. You can't even make a paragraph without putting some vibes cartel references in it. But, oh, by the way, you can tag him. A genocide stands alone, is what he's saying. So, people start saying genocide stands alone, yes, because uh, Corey, uh, Vibes Cartel, take with the energy, where him did a get uno over at genocide and got a six with it. So now, a six boss them. <laughs> Why? And people in them feelings. People, leave your comment in the comment section below. Tell me honestly and truly and really, do you think? That massacre is ready. I mean, no, it's some like a picnic. We're in a 15, 16 year old, 14, 15, 16. You know, everybody have them like a phone now. So everybody body now, and you know, little kids, they don't, they can't control their emotions because the frontal lobe part of the brain that deals with higher thinking and reasoning is not fully developed as yet. So them come past social media and them talk up one bag of foolishness and hand your mother and gunshot in your face and everything. And they run off them like a self. I will erase all those damn comments. More sensible commenting at the comment section, okay? Dance hall we are talk about. The history of dance hall we are talk about. The ownership of dance hall we are talk about. We don't want a Yankee now we think I talk about him change this. You never change nothing over here, brother. You were a business partner with the leading individual in this genre and doing successful business with him might have helped him financially to take next steps and next steps and further certain agendas that he had on the board. But you, you never do nothing. You never write a song, you never dip on a stage, you do nothing, nothing, so you never change nothing. Now, now, do you think that Massacre, I remember in a Massacre, if you watch this, somebody make you watch this or you hear about this, listen, no disrespect to your brother. Alright, I said from day one, I was in Miami when you flop out upon the stage. Alright, I see it for myself. Me and my wife there and we couldn't believe how you come out there and choke. And we actually said that you were probably too high or nervous or I don't know what because you know the best of the best crowd there is a serious crowd and these kind of things. It's hard to rock that crowd. Now, I don't have came out upon the same show and tear up the place. And this is the idonia where them say you were supposed to surpass in the industry. Massacre. Corey, Massacre not even pass alkaline level. It not even reach alkaline level. Him not, him not, him de far from popcorn level. So how are you gunning for cartel? Do you think that Massacre can take the crown from Vibes Cartel? And that's the real question, you know. Do you think that Massacre can take the crown from Vibes Cartel? No one know which part, what quote unquote, what Corey said was riding Massacre wave. I think Vibes Cartel give Massacre a wave, a massive wave for ride pan. And he should be thankful. And I am sure he is until management come with them foolishness. I make the intelligent artist look like him no have no sense. I'm gonna be careful what I do. It's all flow TV man like, comment, share, subscribe. <laughs> you don't know already. I'm out. Peace. Alright people, so Sita Sita, this is the event that Delhi Fever is talking about. This is coloring book birthday fish fry. Yes, and the exact address in North Lauderdale, Florida is right here on this flyer it's 7958 southwest 7th street and the thing start at 4 p.m until that means say come out early and let's have a good time yeah
Check the flyer. It's for more information, please call this number if you're not sure which part you go or you can't see if you read the flyer and all these kind of things. Alright? Meet me there or beat me there. Whichever one, be there. See you there.